And you're welcome back to Off the Ball Saturday here on News Talk. John Duggan with you through to five. Just go through some sports news uh, from the United Rugby Championship. Uh, Ulster leading. They are away to the Scarlets today and they're 45-36 up. Uh, Connacht are trailing 16-8 to the DHL Stormers in South Africa. Uh, it's Armenia nil, Ukraine won after 40 minutes of the Nations League League B match. So probably not a good result for Ireland so far uh, if it stays that way. Uh, we have golf going on as well. Leona Maguire, 67 on the first day, 75 yesterday, but bouncing back with a 65 on day three of the Women's Irish Open, sponsored by KPMG. Astro Mullen Castle and Clare, so really rallying performance from Leona today now to nine under par and a tie for fifth and four shots behind the leader from Sweden, Moa Falke. Uh, to the French Open, we have uh, Rasmus Hoigo leading on 11 under par, a shot ahead of Thomas Peters. Just going down through the leaderboard there. And Jonathan Caldwell is five under in a tie for 17th. That's what's going on at the moment. We'll keep it up to date as well on many other things. But we're going to go now to the Czech Republic, where it's been another brilliant uh, week and day for Ireland at the World Rowing Championships. We're going to speak to the former world champion, Niall O'Toole. Niall, how's the form? Great. Great, John. Fabulous, uh, fabulous weekend for Irish rowing. Brilliant weekend. For anybody watching us on the uh, digital and social channels, um, you're draped in the tricolour there, and I'll fair play. Did you bring yeah. it over in the in the hand luggage? Did you? <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, I'm a, a real prawn, prawn, uh, prawn member of the prawn sandwich brigade here, John. No, yeah, the old trick. Horse is a bit dry. I mean, throws is a bit horse. Horse is a bit dry. What? what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's been a very emotional day. <laughs> my horse is a bit dry. What is that? Uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a great day again. Just screaming my head off. Phenomenal performances across all of the teams today, all the crews today. It was just a, a brilliant day. Huge amount of Irish traveller, uh, uh, travellers, uh, Irish uh, supporters travelled. Um, yeah, so we outnumbered everybody. It was a, it was an amazing day, and yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a, a good night tonight, I think, John. The gold medal, uh, another world championship performance from uh, Paula Donovan and Fintan McCarthy, and they never looked out of second gear, to be honest. No, I mean, yeah, they. they, they They've been, you know, phenomenal for the little bit that they've done together all year. They've been really phenomenal. And there was nobody really going to touch them today. Um, again, they came through the field. They were behind maybe fifth at 1,500 metres. And they just don't get any slower, John. Everybody else is the pace is coming off their boat. And the boys just keep trucking, trucking. Through. It's not as if they do big, massive pushes or anything like that. They're just a higher boat speed. And it's just inevitability that they just slowly, slowly cruise to everybody. And open water again, so that's clear water ahead. Um, and really nobody to challenge them. And it's, it's you know, it's going to look like that for a period of time. They've so, they've so much headroom, they can, they can have a bad race and they're still going to win. Um, so it's, it's looking really, it's looking really good, and it's only going to get better. We talked about Finton really pushing on this year. Paul not being at his best, if that's uh, if that's if that's even a thing, um, and still, uh, still they didn't. They, they there was a suggestion Paul wasn't going to do this World Championships. I kind of had an idea that he wouldn't uh, turn away his fifth uh, gold medal, and uh, and they did it, and they did it in superior form today. So uh, it's it was phenomenal, and uh, yeah. Got a great roar, uh, roar from the Irish today. It's it's happening so often that it's it's easy uh, sometimes for us to take it for granted, but it is a, a, a major achievement at the world stage, and obviously they did it at the Olympics last year. Yeah, I mean it is, and it, it is you can become blasé about it, and uh, and you know whenever you're here on the course and talking to people, everybody's talking about the Irish double. Um, and it, that doesn't happen. Being around rowing all my life, you know, that kind of way, you'd have these marquee crews that everybody talks about all the time. Paul and Finton are one of these crews. Um, and I think we take it for granted. Uh, but we have a phenomenal uh, two athletes um, that are really, really untouchable. And and real credit to, to Ireland. And, and it's something that other countries can only dream of. I mean... <laughs> I mean, you look, you look the likes of the Germans and and and, and the Americans and, and the Brits having a better championships and and the USA. They're just they're just nowhere near uh, majority of our crews. So we're we're definitely punching above our weight. Yeah. And uh, it's looking like a very very good two years into into Paris for the Olympics in 2024. So what is yeah. it? What do, what do Paul and Finton have that others don't? Is it is it is it technique? Is it is it stamina? Is it speed? What what is it? Well, well. Firstly, Paul is a Paul is a phenomenal athlete, uh, and they have clearly they they are 
as 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 tough as a coffin nail, the two of them really. Um, they're really really, you know, really really hard athletes. They train train really really hard. The program that they're doing under Dominic is a really really difficult program, um, and they they uh, they execute it really in the moment all the time. They really give everything to the training, and 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 they leave nothing, uh, no stone unturned. Uh, technically, technically. <laughs> They're good. There's better crews out there than them, technically. Um, but they have a rowing is a mixture of kind of brutality and art. But I think we can add something else. We have brutality, art, and pure violence in terms of how they how they smack the blade through the water. They have a a velocity through the water that nobody no other crew, crew can crew, crew can match. I can only use the word violence, you know, like other way. Um, they just whip the boat blade through the water. Uh, they don't get any slower, and people are absolutely terrified. If, if you're beside the boys and you're a half length ahead at any stage in the race, you probably know you're you, they're going to go come through you. So there's a massive psychological uh, kind of if you like damage done to all the other crews, and they really really feel. I, I don't feel anybody believes that they can beat them or will touch them, and that's a huge thing when you're when you go out and you're always at this level. To get a, a world championship medal, you just have to go out without fear. I don't think there's any crews that race Paul and Finton that are really not scared of them. I really believe everybody's racing for a silver medal. And uh, long may that continue. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're phenomenal. I think they will get better. Technically, they can be better than they were this weekend. And uh, you can imagine what it's going to be gonna, gonna be like at uh, next year's World Championships and the, the Olympic Games. Can't wait. Yeah, uh, I think it's the first ever time in my life I've heard violence used in a positive way. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's probably, yeah. yeah. Probably, I should. I hope, you, I hope we didn't get triggered there, John. Yeah. Uh, uh, Eva, <laughs> Eva Casey and Margaret Kremen, uh, Niall, in the lightweight women's double skulls final, getting a bronze. Was that uh, surprising or was that expected? Yeah, that's... Um, sorry, um... That is, that wasn't expected. Actually, in fact, we we had a we had um, we had we thought that we were going to medal. We clearly thought they were going to medal, um, but uh, they rode down the actual rode down the uh, the they rode down um, the uh, the Olympic bronze medalists. Yeah, we did. yeah. Sorry, there's somebody here on my side here. Sorry, we did. Um, there's some here on my side. Sorry about that, uh, John. A bit distracted. Um, yeah, they 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 rode down the Olympic uh, bronze medals. They beat the Olympic gold medalists at the uh, in in the heats. They rode down the Olympic silver silver medals in the last 500 meters here. So it's a pretty phenomenal race. Very very mature race. It's the first medal that we've ever got in a crew boat in uh, at the at Olympic level. So uh, it was a phenomenal result um, and. I mean, they, they are odds on for a medal in, 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 in Paris 2024. Excuse me about that, John. There was some. Sorry, sorry. Some, okay. So, so, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Sunita Pusper and Zoe Hyde are uh, there tomorrow in the women's double skills A final. Have they got a chance of a medal? Uh, outside, I would say outside chance of a medal, John. We, um, I think they were fifth in the, in the, in the, uh, they were fifth fastest time out of the semi finals. They have got an opportunity. They have got a good chance of a medal, but um, who knows? It's going to be a very, very tight race. Uh, I really, really hope to see Sunita on the podium again. We we'll all have our fingers crossed for her. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. Let's roll the dice. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day tomorrow. I hope. And Katie O'Brien as well, like uh, won a gold in the Paris Single Schools final yesterday. So maybe talk to us about her journey to the summit. Yeah, I think I think Katie won. Uh, obviously, we were champion yesterday in 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 the para one X. She went uh, in the double, which is the Olympic event today with Stephen, and um, they came fifth. It was an improvement from the Europeans, and but again, they still need to kick on if they're going to qualify about that boat for Paris. So uh, yeah, it's it's good good progress from Katie and Stephen's point of view. Certainly kicked on since Munich, um, but we we. They need to show something more in the next in the next championships. Seems to be quite a lot of Irish there, Niall, based on the TV pictures. A lot of uh, a lot of flags and a lot of support. Yeah, um, tons of support. Uh, tons of supporters. Like I mean, the Irish they, they, they we really really do travel, um, and yeah, the, like from all walks of all parts of the country, uh, they come. A lot of people from Cork, a lot of people from from the north, all over the country. So yeah, it, it is. It's 
it's but the majority of the crowd is Irish. I think um, I think Ireland know we're in a purple place at the moment, a purple spot now at the moment, and we really want to soak it in and uh, be part of it. And uh, yeah, it's a great community, their own community, and uh, really have a good connection with the athletes. And uh, the athletes are really, you know, they they. they they were they'll be hanging around with the rest of us now for the rest of the weekend. The, the athletes are finished, so really good connection with the athletes. Um, and yeah, it's it's going to be a good it's going to be, it's going to be quite a good evening, John. I think. Niall, enjoy it. Thanks so much. Yeah, sorry about that, John. All so right, Niall. Was, uh... No problem. Okay, no problem. Uh, Niall O'Toole there, uh, former world champion, uh, giving us an update on the gold medal um, that we received. Uh, Paul O'Donovan and Fintan McCarthy earlier on today and also a bronze for um, Margaret Kremen and Aoife Casey at the World Rowing Championships in the Czech Republic. So 